Namaste, welcome all for Yoga Vanta YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll do class 57 practices. So, firstly, I request you to subscribe our Yoga Vanta YouTube channel for regular updates. So, we'll start today's session. First, sit in any comfortable meditating position. If it is possible, sit in Vajrasana. Now, just adapt chin mudra on your both hands. Keep your back straight. Just close your eyes gently. First, relax your facial muscles. Especially, relax your forehead muscles and eyebrows. Now just calm down your mind. Just draw your mind inward and focus on your breath flow. Now with complete awareness, just try to make your breath slower and deeper. Now let's start the session by chanting Om Kara three times. First exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Feel the resonance of Omkara. Now I should slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Now just stretch your neck up as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale. Now try to touch your forehead to the floor. Offer your salutations to motherland. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks, slowly open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Now just stretch your legs forward. And sit in Sukhasana. <coughs> So in class 56, we did uh, Brahmari with Shanmagi Mudra. 
uh, today also you practice the same Brahmari with Shanmugi Mudra for 10 times. So you see, uh, if you if I practice along with you, so there's a uh, you know, each and every person will be having different capabilities of inhalation and exhalation though so that you know the duration of inhalation and exhalation may mismatch with me and yours so i request you to pause this video and then just practice brahmari for 10 times and then resume the other practices i'll just uh, let you know the key points so here in brahmari in this variation what we are doing in this set uh, 56 57 and 58 so here the brahmari practice will be like this in shanmugi mudra you should place your little finger on the lower lip ring finger on the upper lip and mid finger on tip of the nose by next finger you should close your eyes and from thumbs you should close your ears and then you should do this humming sound for 10 times uh, please pause the video do this for 10 times and resume the video with the next upcoming class practices okay so we'll get into the loosening practices now first sit in sukhasana now just interlock your fingers and then stretch your hands up and be in the position one two three you can close your eyes and feel the stretch four five six stretch your body seven eight nine ten now just place your right palm on the floor if it is possible, place your right elbow on the floor and stretch your left hand over the head and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Now just place your left palm on the floor. If it is possible, place your left elbow and stretch your right hand over the head. Stay 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Now just place your left palm on the right knee. Right hand stride your spine. First you ball to the right. Look back and breathe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven eight nine ten hands forward as in hill twist opposite side and stay ten nine eight seven six five four three two one hands forward as in hill now just drop your hands and stretch your legs forward now just shake your both legs. Now you should just join your both legs. Torment. One, fold your toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ankle stretch. One, point your toes. Two, heels out. Three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten foot rotation one two three four five opposite direction one two three four five now just sit in vajrasana at back portion of the mat Next will be cat camel breathing. According to your comfortability, keep your knees apart and just take one forearm distance from your knees and then come a step ahead. Align your toes, stride your knees. So we'll go for 10 counts. Start one. As you exhale, bend your head and stretch your spine up. As you inhale, just contract your spine and look forward. Two, bend your head and stretch your spine up inhale three exhale inhale four exhale inhale 
फाइव एक्स है सेवन एक्स है एट एक्स है नाइन एक्स है शशांक हास नाउनिया हिल्स स्ट्रेच यू स्पाइन बिंडिया हेड एंड रिलैक्स यू स्पाइन Slowly open your eyes. Now the next practice. It's Shashankha, Sashtang, and Bujangas moment. You should just tuck your toes in, and from Shashankha, slowly you should come up as you inhale, and as you exhale, you should move to Sashtanga. Inhalation, Bujangas, na. Exhalation, Shashankha, na. We'll do this for ten times, okay? So tuck your toes in and come to Shashankha. Slowly come up as you inhale, as you exhale, Sashtanga. Inhale, Bujangas, na. Exhale, Shashank Hasana. Two inhale up. Exhalation. Inhale. Exhale. Three inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four breath in up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Six breath in up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Seven inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Eight breath in up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nine inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ten breath in up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now just sit in Vajrasana. Relax your shoulders, chest, and your arms. Few blinks. Open your eyes. Now in the next practice, you should come to the position of Dandasana. I'll just demonstrate the practice once. So here you should come to the position of uh, Dandasana, and here you should keep your feet in such a way that you know they should be one feet apart. So you can adjust your feet like this. You should just, um, you should just take one feet apart. So here the practice goes like this. From Dandasana. You should just place your heels on the floor, and then we'll lift the right hand up. So, and here when you are doing this practice, you should not drop your waist down like this. You should lift your waist, activate your core muscles, and do the practice. Once you lift your hands up, now just place your palm, and you should keep on interchanging. Once you should lift your left hand, and once you should lift your right hand. Alternatively, you should just keep on switching the positions. So. Uh, we'll do the practice for 20 counts. If you can manage to do 20 counts continuously, it's good. Or else you can just take a break after uh, your comfortability. You can do multiples of five or multiples of 
two. Okay, so we'll uh, start the practice. First, come on your knees, and then lift your knees up, palms in shoulder level. Start. First, take your body weight on left palm, twist your foot, and lift your right hand up. Look up if you're having good balance. And then right palm down, keep on interchanging. Two, lift your left hand up. Down. Three, right hand up. Down. Four, left hand up. Down. Five, right up. Down. Six, left up. Down. Seven, right up down, eight, left up, down, nine, right up, down, ten, left up, down, now just we'll take a break, sit in any comfortable position, relax your arms, especially relax your shoulders and wrist, Now that few blinks, open your eyes. Now we'll go for second set. Come to the position of Dandasana again. Legs apart. <coughs> Start. 11. Lift your right hand up. Down. 12. Left hand up. Down. 13. Down. 14. Down, 15, down, 16, down, 17, down, 18, down, 19, down, 20, down, now just sit in Vajrasana again. Relax your body, relax your shoulders, chest and your arms. Now with a few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now just come to the standing position. <coughs> now I should just <coughs> swing your both legs. We'll go for a spot jang. Just jaw on your toes. One, two, three. Four, five, hands on the shoulder level, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hands up, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, hands down, jog faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, bend forward faster, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, slow, one, two, three, four, five palms, stride your waist, try to cheer thighs to your palms, start, one, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन स्लो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फार्म्स ऑन या हेप्स ट्राई टच योर हिल्स योर फार्म्स टैट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन स्लो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव साइडवर्ड टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्लो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव रिलीज मुख दौती ना जस्ट कीप योर लेग्स अराउंड टू एंड हाफ इट अपार्ट Place your palms on the knees, stretch your neck. You should inhale through nose and forceful exhalation through mouth. We'll do it for ten times. Start. come up as in a hill and relax and shuddle the thada asana legs and shoulder width apart drop your hands free close your eyes and relax just consciously observe the incoming and outgoing breath Now with complete awareness, once inhale deeply, and then slow exhalation. Now with few blinks, slowly open your eyes. Now just watch the next practice. Now here on the next practice, you keep your legs around two and a half feet apart again. So and then uh, you should just turn your feet outward in V shape. So here you should just. Fold your legs. You should adjust your legs in such a way that there's minimum load on the knees. Generally, the common mistake what happens? We'll just keep the legs closer and do the practice. Once you fold the leg, instead of taking pressure on the thighs, pressure will develop at the knee. This has to be avoided. So try to keep your leg apart. And when you are folding leg, your knee should not be projecting inward like this. Try to open it up and make sure the load is on thighs. and your hamstring if it is possible fold your leg in such a way that your hamstring is parallel to the floor and then you should place your palms on the knees so here as you inhale you should lift your hands up and then as you exhale you should place your palm on the knees so this will be the practice so we'll go first keep your legs around 2 and 1/2 feet apart turn your feet outward fold your legs bring your hamstrings parallel to the floor palms on the knees start one as you inhale lift your hands up exhalation down two inhale up exhale down three inhale up exhale down four up down five up down six inhale up exhale down seven inhale up exhale down eight up down nine up down 10 up 
down continue lemon up down 12 up down 13 up down 14 up down 15 up down 16 up down 17 up down 18 up down two more 19 up down last one 20 up down now just come up bring your legs closer and just relax in shitlat harasana legs in shoulder width apart drop your hands free close your eyes and relax Relax your thighs and hamstrings. Now with complete awareness, once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Now with few blinks, open your eyes. Now we'll get into the practice of Surya Namaskara. Now just stand at front portion of the mat. Now you should just join your both legs and adapt Namaskara Mudra. Start Urdhvasana. Hastapadasana. Ekapada, right leg back. Vipada Prasadasana. Shashankhasana. Sashtanga Pranipadasana. Bujangasana. Budadasana. Shashanka. Ekapada, right leg front. Hastapadasana Urdhvasana Hastapadasana Left leg back Vipada Shashanka Sashtanga Bujangasana Bhudarasana Shashanka Left leg front Hastapadasana Urdhvasana Hastapadasana Right leg back Dvibhada Prasarana Ten steps Ashtanga Bujangasana Bhudarasana Ekapada, right leg front. Hastapadasana. Urdhvasana. Hastapadasana. Left leg back. Dvipada prasrila. Sashtanga. Bujangasana. Bhudarasana. Left leg front. Hastapadasana Udvasana Namaskara Hands down, legs apart and just relax for a while Now with few blinks, slowly open your eyes now we go to the next level practice. You just remember all the key points which have we have followed in the previous classes. So by adapting those key points, we'll do the practice. Okay. So join your both legs and adapt the Skar Mudra. Hastotanasana. Take your hands sideward, lift your hands up and put your head back. Pada Hastasana, hands sideward and bend forward. 
at the Uthana, come on your fingertips and look forward. Now just fold your knees, place your palms on the floor and jump back and move to Chaturanga Dandasana. Fold your elbows 9 degree and look forward. Uddha Mukeshwana, knees and thighs off the floor and stretch your neck up. Adho Mukeshwana, try to press your heels on the floor. Bend your head. Five times deep breath. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now just fold your knees. Jump front. Ardha Uthara, come on your fingertips and look forward. Hastapada Asana. Hastottana Asana, take your hands sideward. Lift your hands up and put your head back. Pada Hastasana, hands sideward and bend forward. Ardha Uthara, come on your fingertips and look forward. Fold your knees, palms on the floor, jump back. Chaturanga, fold your elbows 9 degree, look forward. Urdhva Mukeshwana, knees and thighs off the floor and stretch your neck up. One, sorry, Adho Mukeshwana, press your heels on the floor and bend your head. Five counts, deep breath. One, two, three, four, five. Fold your knees, jump front. Ardha Uthana, come on your fingertips and look forward. Hastapadasana. Hastotanasana, hands sideward. Lift your hands up and put your head back. Namaskara. Release. Now just pause the next level practice, I'll demonstrate. So most of the steps are similar. So we just uh, know the key points and do the practice. So here, you should stand in by joining the both legs. First practice will be Dandasana. You should just fold your legs, lift your hands up. First practice will be Utkatasana. And then from Utkatasana, you should slowly bend forward. Padahasta. You should come on your fingertips and look forward. You should fold your legs, palms on the floor, then jump back. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukeshwana. Adho Mukeshwana. Here you should stay for 5 counts. After this, try to place your right foot in between your palms and left heel on the floor. Your hamstring should be parallel to the floor. You should come up. Virabhadrasana. And then down. Then Chaturangarandasana. Urdhva Mukheshwana. Adho Mukheshwana. 5 counts deep breath. And then you should move to Virabhadrasana again from the left leg. And then down. Chaturangadandasana. Urdhva Mukheshwana. Adho Mukheshwana. Five counts deep breath. And then you should fold your knees. Jump front. Ardha Uthana. Hastapara. Utkatasana. Namaskara. Okay, these are the steps. I'll be doing together. You just uh, do along with me. So stand at front portion of my Join your legs. Adapt Namaskara Mudra. Hastottanasana. Take your hands sideward. Fold your knees. Lift your hands up. Padahastasana. Take your hands sideward. And bend forward. Lengthen your spine. Bend. Ardha Uthana. Come on your fingertips. Look forward. Now fold your knees. Place your palms on the floor, jump and directly land to Chaturanga Dandasana. Try for that. So jump, Chaturanga. Good. Urdhva Mukeshwana. If it is possible, you can point your toes, lift your knees and thighs off the floor. Lift up your clavicle, stretch your neck up. Adho Mukeshwana. Try to press your heels on the floor, bend your head. Five counts, deep breath. One, two, Three, four, five. Now just 
bring your right foot in between your palms left heel on the floor bring your waist down hands up virabhadrasana stay one two three four five hands down chaturangasana right leg back fold your elbows 90 degree look forward urdhva mukha shvana knees and thighs off the floor adho mukha shvana heels on the floor bend your head five counts one two three four five left leg front right heel on the floor hands up virabhadrasana stay one two three four five hands down chaturangasana urdhva mukha shvana once again knees and thighs off the floor adho mukha shvana stay one two three four five now just fold your knees jump front at the uthana come on your fingertips and look forward hastapadasana utkatasana fold your knees lift your hands up namaskarasana release now just sit on your mat and relax in sukhasana just sit in sukhasana adapt chin mudra in your both hands your back should be straight close your eyes gently consciously observe your breath and just feel the effects of the practice navat complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation palming now just rub your palms each other make your palms warm just give cup shaped your palms and place it on the closed eyes feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes now just release your hands slowly with few blinks slowly open your eyes and look at your palms release now we'll just go for an asana which is called as parivrta parshvakona asana the actual parivrta parshvakona asana it's a little bit Uh, uh, tougher so we'll just do the preparatory practice of uh, parivrta parshvakona asana and later in upcoming classes we'll go for parivrta uh, actual position of parivrta parshvakona asana so here the preparatory practice will goes like this so here you should <coughs> come to the position of ekapadasana first so from here you just <coughs> try to from your left hand you just try to lock your shoulder okay so you should just try to lock your shoulder and try to place your palm on the floor and you should lift your right hand up and stay this is the practice just do as much as you can in the actual position you should try to lock your shoulder to the leg but uh, if you find uh, this practice is a bit harder just do as much as you can day by day you should cover the gap so so be careful so after reaching here then do 
so if you feel comfortable that's fine or and then once your flexibility permits then you go down further so day by day you should go for the practice and in the final you should try to lock your shoulder to the leg if it is possible place your palm on the floor and then stretch your hand up look up and be in the position so this is the practice now just do as much as you can so from your left hand just twist and lock or else uh, for today we'll just uh, simplify the practice so and then in upcoming classes we'll go for this so i'll just show the simplified practice for this one so here you can do like this you can place your palm on the floor lift up your chest twist your waist as much as you can and look up you can go for this so once you this practice becomes comfortable for you then you can work on placing your palms on the floor so for today we'll just go for this one so if you can manage to go for placing the palm that's well and good if you find very difficulty switch to the preparatory one okay so we'll start the practice from your left hand lock lock your shoulder as close as you can and then you can place your palm on the floor lift up your chest and twist your body lengthen your spine you can look up balance or as according to your comfortability you can adjust your vision and be in the position 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 Very good. Now slowly release and just sit in Vajrasana. Relax your body for a while. Slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go to the other side. You can just take your left leg front. From here, you just lock your shoulder to the knee as close as you can. Once you lock, adapt Namaskara. Press and twist your spine. Look up and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now slowly release and just line your abdomen and relax in Makarasana. Legs apart and your feet outward. Palms on your shoulders and relax your body. Now a few blinks. Open your eyes. Now we'll get into the variation of Chaturanga Dandasana. Now you should just interlock your fingers and stretch your right leg in the waist level. If you can manage to place it on the waist level, that's good. Or else keep it away as much as you can. So after placing it in the waist level, you should just lift your waist half feet above from the floor. You should engage your abdominal muscles and you should be in the position. Okay. So first, stretch your 
right leg in the waist level. So interlock your fingers. You should adjust yourself so that your abdominal muscles are in active condition. Lift your waist up. Activate your core muscles. Look forward and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly release and relax. Now slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go to the other side. So once again, Interlock your fingers and stretch your left leg to the base level and then lift your waist up, activate your abdominal muscles, look forward and breathe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly release and relax in Makarasana again. Legs apart, feet outward, palms on your shoulders and relax your body. Now you should just place your palms at both the sides of the chest and just move to Shishankhasana. Feel the stretch of your back and relax. Now you should slowly come up as you inhale. Now stretch your legs forward. So we'll get into the practice of Pavana Mukta Kriyasana. Now just sit at front portion of the mat. <coughs> so five counts, you should catch over your legs and roll on your back. And in the next five counts, you should stretch your hands forward and roll on your spine. So in the second counts, you should just activate your abdominal muscles and then do the practice, okay? So we'll start the practice. First, fold your legs and then catch over your legs. Step one, roll on your back and come up. Two, three, four, five. Now switch your hands forward. Activate your abdominal muscles. Start six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we'll get into a variation of Merudandasana. So here you should fold your legs partially and then you should stretch your hands over the head. Here you should not fold your legs too much. If you fold your legs too much then lifting the upper body will be harder. So what you do just keep your legs a little bit forward. So the body weight will be distributed on lower and upper side of the body. So here so the practice goes like this. You should fold your legs slightly by activating your abdominal muscles 
you should lift your body up you see when you are lifting your core muscles are in the active condition and lift like this okay you should not give the jerk and get up so that will strain the back so you should activate your abdominal muscles and get up and while coming back also by activating your abdominal muscles you should move back okay so we'll get into the practice hands over the head start one up release two up release three up release four up release five up release six up release seven up release eight up release nine up release ten up and relax by taking support of your elbows just lie on your back and relax for a while just relax your abdominal muscles now slowly open your eyes now we'll get into the practice of jatra parivartana asana now first line your back uh, hope you all know the practice stretch your hands in the shoulder level lift your feet up and rest your lower back on the floor stretch your hands up stretch your legs up in 90 degree by keeping your legs straight one twist your legs to the right without separating your legs to lift up and twist to the left three up twist right by keeping your knees straight four up twist to the left five up Twist right, six up, twist left, seven up, twist right, eight up, twist left, continue, nine up, twist right, and stay breathe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now just fold your legs twist to the left and stretch stay ten nine eight seven six five four three two one now just fold your legs stretch and relax in shavasana keep your legs apart hands away from the body palms facing upward eyes should be closed gently listen your whole body listen all the muscles from tip of your toes to top of your head Calm down your mind and enjoy the relaxation. Just consciously observe the effects happen on your body and mind.
Just take out the tension from all the muscles of your body. And it should literally collapse your whole body on the floor. Now you should just activate your internal awareness and channelize your awareness on your breath. Just focus on your breath flow. Now that complete awareness, once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. Now let's come out from Shavasana step by step. Now with complete awareness, just give movement to your toes. Slowly give movement to your ankles. Shake your both legs together. Give movement to your fingers, rest both hands together. Now just turn your head to the right, slowly turn your head to the left, bring your head in the neutral position. Now just join your both legs, bring your hands close to your body, stretch your right hand over the head, left palm on your abdomen, slowly fold your left leg by pressing left foot on the floor, roll to the right. Rest your head on the right bicep and relax your body again. Now slowly come up by placing left palm in front of chest and taking support of right elbow and right palm. Sit in any comfortable meditating position. Your back should be straight and close your eyes gently. Now let's conclude the session by chanting one omkara and three shantis. Now slowly adapt namaskara mudra, join your palms each other. Inhale deeply. Om Shanti 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 Now slowly hold your hands at your back, hold at your breast. Stretch your neck upward as you inhale and expand your chest. Slowly bend forward as you exhale and try to touch your forehead to the floor. Take blessing from Supreme Soul. Now slowly come up as you inhale. Release your hands and rub your palms each other. Make your palms warm. Just give cup shape to your palms and place it on the closed eyes. Feel warmth of the palms and relax your eyes. Now just release your hands slowly. With few blinks, open your eyes and look at your palms. Release. Have a great day. Thank you all. Thank you.